हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज चंदन कुमार एंड यू आर वाचिंग द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ विनोवा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ रियल एनालिसिस फ्रॉम टी आई एफ आर लेट सी द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट लेट एफ इज अ फंक्शन डिफाइन फ्रॉम क्लोज इंटरवल जीरो वन टू आर बी अ कंटिन्यूअस फंक्शन सच दैट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एक्स क्यू फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू क्लोज इंटरवल जीरो वन With integration from zero to one is one by four, then f of x is equals to x cube for all x belongs to R, and we have to check that either it is true or false. So firstly, extract the given information in question. The first information is f is a continuous function from zero one to R. The second information is. f of x is greater than equal to x cube for all x belongs to closed interval 0 to 1 and the third information is integration 0 to 1 f of x dx is equals to 1 by 4 if a function having these three properties and for all x belongs to r is equals to x cube then this statement is true otherwise false so let's assume uh, Function g of x is equals to f of x minus x cube. f of x is a continuous function from closed interval zero one to R, and x cube is polynomial, so it is also a continuous function. Then g of x is a continuous function. Now, f of x is greater than equal to x cube. That imply f of x minus x cube is greater than equal to zero. So g of x is also greater than equal to zero. That is, g of x is continuous and non-negative on closed interval zero one. If g of x is a continuous and non-negative function on closed interval zero one, then we can integrate it from zero to one. Zero to one, g x d x is equals to zero to one f of x d x. Minus integral zero to one x cube dx. This is one by four from the given information, and after calculating, we can find it is also one by four, so it is equal to zero. Here we see that a function which is continuous on zero to one and non-negative, and having integral zero. So here we can use a result of Riemann integration, which says that. If f is a continuous function from closed interval a b to R, f of x is greater than equal to zero. That is, f is non-negative, and integration from a to b f of x dx is equals to zero. That imply f of x is identically zero. If we use this result here, g of x is identically zero. That imply f of x minus x cube is equal to zero. Therefore, f of x is equals to x cube. Hence, this statement is true. That's all for this question. Thank you so much for watching.